Chapter 1. Significant shifts in business development have long-term implications. Business is a roller coaster that has its sudden turns called inflection points. An inflection point describes any change in a business that dramatically shifts some element of your activities, throwing certain assumptions taken for granted into question. Keep in mind that taking advantage of the changes in your business environment will increase entrepreneurial opportunities. In the early stages of a likely inflection point, the most reasonable option is to give your attention to important things. However, this is not the time to make big bets. As things progress, the early phase gives way to four primary stages in which inflection points unfold. Hype. This is when experts begin to give their opinion about the market. They let people know that a big boom is about to emerge, and people will start to invest heavily in that sector. A typical example is the 2013 to 2016 run on blockchain currency like Bitcoin. People tend to charge into an emerging arena with the hope of having a little share of what they think will be massive growth. This stage almost always ends in a dramatic disaster. Dismissive. At this stage, those investors who survived the shakeout will begin to set the foundation for significant growth. They will start looking for ways to meet new customers' needs, build feasible business models, make money, and explore toehold investment opportunities. Individuals at the dismissive stage do all they do alongside paying attention to inflection points. Emergent. This is where people generate lots of options that position them for whichever model will eventually emerge. Maturity. At this stage, it becomes evident how the inflection points will change the world. Unprepared business owners will see their businesses go into decline, but those ready will be well positioned to take advantage of this stage's growth opportunities. The primary goal of this summary is to help business owners identify the opportunities represented by strategic inflection points. Also, this tidbit will help managers and their organizations take advantage of these opportunities. Inflection points have the power to change the very assumptions on which organizations were founded. Rita Gunther McGrath Chapter 2. Fast and horizontal flows of information enable efficient decision-making. The changes that will fundamentally influence the future of any organization brew at the edges, the frontiers beyond which something changes. Many business executives are so pressured by the daily demands that getting to the periphery is one of the last things on their agenda. However, to avoid being surprised by an inflection point, it's essential to know what is happening there. Don't forget, business leaders must ensure they have systems in their organizations with proper feedback channels to stay abreast of happenings. Upheavals created by major strategic inflection points often take time to unfold. But although they are not yet mature, when you see them at first, if you pay keen attention, you can begin to see the implications of their trajectory on time, when it is still possible to influence them. Eight practices can help you know what is going on along the edges. Ensure direct connection between the leaders and the people at the edges of your company. Have people who can tell you what is really going on. Leverage diverse perspectives in thinking about the future implications of your business. Use deliberate decision-making processes for high-risk and irreversible decisions that have enormous implications for your business. However, use small, agile, empowered teams for reversible decisions rich in learning potential. Create little educational bets that everyone in the organization can participate in. This encourages people to be more creative and express their ideas, even if they're not part of the management. Have direct exposure to your environment by getting to know how your customers feel about your business or products. You can do this by putting leaders where they can easily run into clients. Create incentives that reveal accurate information about your business. Do not turn a blind eye to any negative impact your organization may have on the public. Ensure you expose yourself and your organization to where the future is unfolding. You do not need to be the manager of your company to identify how an inflection is likely to unfold. In fact, you will most likely see it if you are closer to the external trends that make your business possible. Chapter 3. There are many potential changes preceding inflection points that can enhance progress. Change, they say, is the only constant thing in life. As time passes, things change. Valuable things become obsolete with time, and some things that were once unimportant begin to make the rounds. This change phenomenon has one of its greatest effects on businesses and market structure in general. Businesses are built and survive on predominant realities, and any change that affects these realities would inevitably lead to an inflection in such business. For instance, a couple of years ago, TV houses and newspaper publishers had the largest audience, so the publicity and information circulation business built up around them. Today, that narration has changed because of the emergence of social media platforms such as Facebook, YouTube, and the likes. 
The inflection arose when the emergence of social media platforms subtly and gradually altered the whole assumption upon which TV houses and newspaper publishers built their business. This assumption changed when media houses discovered they could reach a more significant and diverse audience through social media platforms. Companies that took advantage of that inflection point had a competitive advantage. It is easy to take inflection points for granted, often because of a blurred business vision and inadequate forecasting. The consequences of a minor change are often underestimated but result in the inflection adversely affecting the business. Keep in mind, the rises and falls of a business mainly depend on the constant change in how it meets its customers' needs. While we try to establish the ineludible and constant nature of change, we must not fail to add that some things never really change in business. For example, the needs and preferences of consumers are always constant. The day when consumers would begin to desire higher prices for your goods or wish that you become a little bit ineffective in rendering your services will never come. So, what changes in business is the means and approach to meeting these needs, not the needs themselves. To maximize the opportunities and changes that might come, you must prepare for them. Chapter 4. To remain relevant in the market, you have to spend time studying the demand and supply of your products. Businesses generally thrive on certain beliefs, which happen to be the logic behind why they prosper. For instance, restaurants run on the assumption that people are always hungry, and as long as this remains true, they'll always be in business. However, it is important to always go over the assumptions that serve as the back end of your business to see if they need a little adjusting, tweaking, or a total overhaul. But what kills many businesses is they don't look out for the warning signs of fading advantage. As a result, they seldom notice that the assumptions upon which their business stands are gradually becoming obsolete. If it is true that people are always hungry, is it also true that they'd be willing to eat just anything at any time? These and many more assumptions may have been valid several years ago, but may not be applicable anymore in your current setting at such a time as this. Don't forget, understanding the behavior and preferences of your customers keeps you at an advantage during periods of inflection. Often, consumers go through a lot of stress sourcing all the materials they need to get a particular job done. A simple decision to make available for sale all or most of these materials may be the initiation of a significant inflection that will work in your favor. For instance, as a restaurant owner, you can decide to start selling soda or dessert if you discover that your customers always go out to look for these after eating at your place. To remain relevant in the business world, consider whether your assumptions about your organization need a fresh look. Next, review your business advantages to check if they are fading away. You can do this by defining the revenues your business relies on, identifying the needs your customers are willing to spend money on and how your business might change given shifts in the environment and new possibilities. Practices that displease or even enrage customers can create an opening for a disruptive player to come into your markets and cause customers to defect. Rita Gunther McGrath Chapter 5 Inflections are not a huge threat to an organization whose workers have a common point of view. Frequently, we place the entire responsibility for the success or failure of a business on the owners and top leaders. We blame them when the company fails and praise them when it succeeds. Meanwhile, in the real sense, the actual heroes of the organization are those who face the heat of the job, interact directly with the public, and know exactly what is going on. Remember to give everyone in your organization the opportunity to detect and respond to inflection. This will help enhance a growth mindset. We cannot say that a business succeeds or fails because of any particular hierarchy of individuals. It is due to the combination and predictions of the various categories of staff running the business. While other staff members who interact with the public bring insights based on their observations, the leader's role is to create a means of receiving and scrutinizing this feedback to fish out the important ones. Afterward, they are to assign the responsibility of handling these issues to those most qualified. A business is most galvanized to survive inflection points when all the workers have a shared point of view, and every form of internal friction and competition is eliminated. So it should ensure to mobilize actions to take advantage of this opportunity by empowering everyone in the company to spot inflection points and do something about them. Once the feedback from frontline workers is neglected, the efficiency of the business begins to decline, and the organization can no longer make sound and timely decisions. Building leading indicators into your organization's incentives ensures that people will pay attention to them and increases the likelihood that they will be acted upon. Rita Gunther McGrath Did you know, according to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, 20% of small businesses in the United States fail within the first year. After their fifth year, nearly 50% have faltered. Ten years later, only about a third of businesses have survived. Chapter 6 
Business leaders devote most of their time to the most crucial investment decisions they can make. Identifying and acting on emergent inflection points can't be done by one person in a lofty corner office. Everyone must be involved. Only leaders who facilitate relationships and talents of the organization while providing clear direction can successfully take an organization through inflection points. Keep in mind, to promote teamwork in your business, ensure you include everyone and encourage mutual respect and appreciation. According to the executive chairman of Amazon, Jeff Bezos, our biggest issue is not the ability to see the emergence of inflection points, but recognizing their impact on how we do business and deciding which sector to pursue. It is also about carrying everyone along while navigating through an inflection point and coming out stronger on the other end. Additionally, it is thinking about the long-term benefits of your actions, even if the current transitions might involve many painful risks. In other words, identifying an inflection point is the first step towards successfully navigating it. The next thing to do is decide what direction to take and mobilize the organization. Keep key executives on the same page and encourage teamwork because a lack of alignment will diffuse your efforts. Gail Goodman's leadership in the email marketing company Constant Contact led to incremental progress. Here are a few takeaways from Goodman's leadership style. Act as the essential glue that keeps a diverse set of employees working consistently toward a well-understood objective. Place importance on candid feedback to remain effective. Learn to communicate your company's mission, vision, values, priorities, and critical themes constantly. This communication shouldn't be done only at the top. Everyone in the company should be involved. One of your primary responsibilities is making sure your team remains a team. If your team is dysfunctional, take responsibility as a leader because you're either not creating an environment where the team must resolve their conflicts, or you're not listening. Another reason could be that one of your team is not listening, and you're not correcting them. Conclusion Taking advantage of inflection points to become better and more efficient is not just a concept for organizations and businesses to embrace. Just as in organizations, you must prepare yourself on a personal level for experiences and changes that would generally affect the course of your life. These experiences often come from the most unexpected places, hence the need to adjust your perception of them beforehand. Also, plan on navigating through them adequately so that you end up in the same direction you want to be heading. Individuals can also find these principles handy. It is not just enough for business owners to encourage their staff to identify an inflection point. It is also their responsibility to ensure that everyone in the company is adequately aligned to respond effectively to it. Leaders can experiment with small bets to help their company take advantage of a shift when they see it coming. Over time, they can increase their commitment and channel resources to those areas in which new models are changing the status quo. While strategic inflection points are often regarded with fear, they are only problematic if business owners ignore them. If leaders make early investigative investments to understand inflection points as they begin to gather resources, their organizations can find rich growth opportunities. A typical example of how this works is the release of Apple's iPod in 2001, which became a turning point for Nike. In 2004, engineers at the Nike campus discovered that most runners were wearing iPods as they ran, which prompted a collaboration between Apple and Nike. This led to the creation of Nike Plus a system that collected workout information from runners as they exercised. It eventually evolved into the Nike Plus membership program, which had about 140 million members as of 2018. So, if taken advantage of, inflection points can change your business for the better. Try this. To identify an inflection point, attend a conference or seminar that does not relate to your business. You can attend lectures open to the public hosted by local universities, join a club based on your area of interest, and take courses on topics you find personally interesting to open yourself up to new ideas. These experiences broaden your horizon, inspire you, and help you see fresh opportunities.